promise. But aren't you going to be pissed off when phase three goes up and you see how nice it is? Phase three is not going to ever happen. It is, I live in phase one and the rest is, is, is surrounded by, uh, dilapidated yeah, it gets rough buildings. Quick. Yeah. Bad, a bad trucking company. Uh, and it's the foot traffic from the hood to, it's a shortcut where I live. The shortcut <laughs> from the hood to the hood mall. So yeah, it's it's a shortcut from Martin Luther King Boulevard to the Hudson Mall, and that's where all the foot traffic. So you got a whole place where people got Beamers, Benzes, guy has a Porsche, uh, Hummers, and that's the foot traffic from Martin Luther King Boulevard to the Hudson Mall. So that's why I live. They were, it was supposed to be a gated community. But then the the whole. So no wonder you wake up angry. It, it, you get mad. Do you look at the painting? Do you have the painting from they sold? I wish the I had the painting. The, the whole, the whole. I wish I did. I wish that I had the promise. But I got bars and everything on my walls, man. On my windows and everything. I have a lock that you only can get out. You have to, You need a key to get out, and not you. You can't get and out. You have without a fucking key. poodle. I have a little poodle and a little Westie. You would think in that neighborhood you would just go Rottweiler, get it done. Well, that the whole it was. Uh, I don't like big dogs. I'm not picking up big dog shit. That shit That's is right. horrid. When you put the plastic gloves on, I used on, to have it. Uh, uh-uh. and sometimes that the, dog shit, I I'll get a receipt out of my pocket and, and pick, I'll it pick it up. Exactly. Or sometimes I just kick it into the street like a little. Pizza <laughs> pizza. But when we were talking about people coming up to you in the street. Mm. When you're a comic, they think they have license to break balls the way we break balls because they'll hear us on Opie and Anthony in the way. But they that, don't know how to do it. That's that's the that's where I'm going. Is the point? So don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> you're like Jay, you asshole. And this is because it, it pisses they'll me off. Don't be all. like, hey, Patricky, what's up, man? And like, if Bobby took a shot at you or Jimmy said something, they'll say that shit to you, or like they'll say shit to me, and I'll be like. This guy doesn't know me well enough to talk that shit to me in the middle of fucking Amsterdam Avenue. But not even if he don't know you well enough, he doesn't know how to do it. Right. He doesn't, they, 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 if they think, it's like these roasts. I keep telling people, okay, I did this roast, but I'm saying there's something missing from it. And that's camaraderie. It's love is missing from it. It's not just, I'm going to Google you and say horrible things about you. That I found out yeah. on the internet. Like we're all friends with David Hasselhoff. So, oh, can I roast him? He's my pal. Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't, but that's what, that's what I'm saying. Jeff is, she's kidding. No, I'm thinking about oh, Jeff. I know Because really... it gets me to, you know, I think about this stuff, man. It's like, look, it, it I did this roast. The Charlie Sheen roast. The Charlie Sheen roast. And you dominated the Charlie Sheen roast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I did that roast. My instinct was to say yes. Like they asked me to do a few others, which we've established is against your everyday instinct. My, right, your natural <clears> instinct <throat> is to say, say no. no. So what was it about this? I truly, without sounding like a, a, a sanctimonious, let me figure it out. It was a lot of pieces. Saint, meaning, one was, let's say, it's supposed to have been the highest rated. Roast ever. Yeah, it was, okay. I'm sure, right? So, but they, they called me a week ahead. That, what helped is that they called me a week ahead of time. Just a week out. They had been planning it for six months. They know how to get to Patricia. That's but funny. They, they I bet call- your agents were like, if you wanted to do it, just call them like, just call them the night before. The night before. That, <laughs> it was a week. And I was just like, they asked me, and I'm like, I said, I think I want to do it. Cause, but <clears throat> why, why I'm saying I, I didn't want to play it like a douchebag is cause, Char- I I really liked Charlie Sheen when he was fighting the system. I I, I enjoyed that. Why? I I enjoyed watching. watching Did you Spartan. enjoy his stance? Uh, Two million dollars a week, and you're you're see that's not that that's what made it even better. Is that the two million dollars a week? I, I would love to have that as a guy. Yeah, but he said goodbye to it to go on some bullshit tour. But as a guy that made not that on uh-huh. a sitcom. That got canceled. That was good. And my, I thought it was good. I, you know, if they came to me and said, we're going to pay you $2 million a week, but here's the thing. Every Thursday, Chuck Lorre, the showrunners would come up and you're going to have to suck his dick. And I would say, what's the bad news? And I would do it well. Like, see, I, but that's, that's, that's the thing. Some people don't, some people, see that 
That's more money than A Rod makes. But that's, never, that's not a motivating factor to me. There's never an away game. It's that's eight million a, but a month. That's, but that's the motivating factor for you. That's not, not the blowing Chuck Lorre. Two no, million a week doesn't motivate Chuck you. Lurie. No, Chuck Lorre. You're being phase well, four. I, 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 two million is the motivating factor. Sucking Chuck Lorre's dick is what you have to do to get that motivating factor. I'll do. I don't care. I would do it. That, but see, that's there's no argument there because. Yeah. I wouldn't suck Chuck Lorre's dick for two million, and I'm not even trying to be she on would top make of the mountain. You. No, she wouldn't. Oh damn. No, she wouldn't. So for two million dollars a week, let, so would you do a shitty show that you? Well, put it shitty? this way. Wait, let me see. Let me even be on your side a little more. All right. A little more. Suck Chuck Lorre's dick. I'm I trying to say I without his argument. Don't, don't be gay. I'll do it. Yeah, I wouldn't let you. I'd rather do it than have you do it because I would never get that shit out of my head. <laughs> why would you? Why would you even say that? What? Yeah, we like. All right, how about my girl? That's what she's supposed to be doing. It's giving head, <laughs> not to Chuck Lorre. Yes, if he would let her. If that, if I went that way, if he would let her. If, what are you kidding why, me? Why would I suck her dick? Look What's at she gonna way? think of me? Where are we going? Wherever, if I'm sucking dick, I know this is a figurative conversation. Wherever the fuck you want, because you got eight million after taxes in two so months. So you think I can buy her? Look, it's better. It's better for her to have. But on a side note, right now our wives are in the corner on the couch going, <laughs> I would suck his dick. I wouldn't let him do it, but I would suck his dick. Put it this way. Pick a job you like, you never work a day in your life. I picked Flo. <laughs> she said, pick a job you like, you never work a day in your life. My wife chose Blo, and I can say, yes, you did. <laughs> and I'll say, I enjoy your work. Thank you. So <laughs> let me say... Let me say this to you to say to make it like so it's less of a a disagreement and just like I go look if they said Patrice we gonna pay you two million dollars a week but you gotta suck his dick once I would I would I would cry because I wouldn't suck his dick because I would go fuck I need two million dollars a week but I would feel bad that I wouldn't suck his dick what if no one knew you were gonna suck his dick nah. only you. <sighs> What if Vaughn never knew? Internally, nah. Nah. I, I built my mind, so I'm, I you know, like money, but I don't love it. phase four in Jersey City. For, it's fine. It's the fine. next day. But here's the thing. It's fine. Charlie, she would never had yeah, my wife has a salient point. Charlie Sheen never had to suck anyone's dick. He had his face in box for 14 up. years doing blow. All he had to do was show I up. Like, and he pissed it away by acting like, uh, like he couldn't I know. Be, I, get along I, well with I others. I like a human... <clears throat> I like, I like a human factor in Hollywood. Sometimes, the, the, I heard a story about Chaz Palminteri that I love. That I love is that you you want to hear a story about a guy who just. I, I hate the fact that everything that makes you a better human in this business ultimately is dumb. Integrity, pride, fucking self-respect. It's dumb. It's what a dumb thing dumb? to have. It is. What? In this business, the having guy those just, things is hold, stupid. Time out. The it's guy that, dumb. Hold on. The guy that just said he would not suck a dick for $2 million said having integrity is dumb. No, no, no. Meaning. That's what you just said. Listen, I'm going to repeat it. You right. can't back me in. I know what the fuck. I'm just saying it again. Break it. Good go. When I'm saying not sucking a dick. <laughs> In this business. In this business. Right. But in other business. It's dumb. So the, I'm saying the things oh, as a human. You went the other way with The it. things that you do where you go, where you go, I'm, I'm going to make a stand. Like Chaz, Chaz Palminteri told his story basically. It's like he said he will not do. They they wanted um, a Bronx tale really bad. He told the story in ONA. He wanted a Bronx. The, the Hollywood wanted a Bronx tale really bad. And he's like, look, I want to play. Um, I want to play, uh, the guy. What's the guy's name? I don't know, but the guy that he played in the yeah. box too. And he's just like, St. Peter. St. What, what the fuck is his name? Who cares? It doesn't affect the story. Keep going. Anyway, he wanted to play the gangster. Yeah. No one would let him play the gangster. They kept offering him more and more money to play, to say, no, you're not playing the gangster. We want to buy it. You can play the bus driver, but not the gangster. Right. He's like, I want to play the gangster. He even went, Sonny. He wanted to play Sonny. He even went in the bathroom and had a moment of, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I not just selling it and then moving on? He had some integrity there. 
So finally, by chance, he met Robert De Niro. De Niro said, I want to make this. You can play Sonny. I don't give a shit. I'll play the bus driver. And, and, and the rest is history. I love stories like that. But in the midst of his story, he was wondering, what the, f- what am I doing? Having dumb integrity. That's what I mean. I, I enjoy. Would, pay, would you say it paid off for him? Yeah, it paid so off. So then how could it be a dumb thing to have integrity? Because the journey in Hollywood terms, because even him this in is the room. logic. And even in the bathroom, when he's starting to question his own integrity, it did work out, but that's that's 2020. That's hindsight. But I'm saying he was starting to feel why am I why am I taking a stand against what Hollywood would tell me to do? Sell my thing, play the bus driver, and shut your fucking mouth. When I hear a story where a dude goes, he goes against the the Hollywood thing, and he wins. I I I love that story. I just I just like, think it's like, a possibility. Like Stallone and Rocky. Completely, like, I'm not doing it unless I can play rock. Unless he does his thing. And then finally, it, it's like... And it took him years to be co- Yes. It's, it's weird when you think that Rocky came out before Raging Bull. Because you think of Raging Bull as, like, this work of art. And it that, seems older, the way it's filmed and everything. Yeah. It looks like an old movie. Yeah. But it was it was a, a, a lot after. It might have been, what, f- no, it was six years? and 80. Three years. Okay. So, <clears throat> my thing is, the Charlie Sheen thing... But he didn't win. He lost huge. Money wise. Money wise he lost. But not he lost his kids. That had nothing to do with Chuck Lorre though. That's his and personal. The whole I'm talking about the Hollywood. But thing. the situation that made him lose his kids. His is kids the same is a thing. different thing. I wouldn't say losing his kids was I'm saying it's the Chuck Lorre beef. Because the behavior that made you have Chuck Lorre beef on set is the same behavior that made you lose your children. I wouldn't say that. Well, how could you not say it? I wouldn't say that because drugs and because firearms and hookers and kids. I'm still a woman, and people might go, "Well, how?" I don't abuse my way out of my out of my relationship. I might have abused Yet. my way out of out of business stuff, uh, out of out of opportunities. Maybe. What do you want to do? I would love. We just talked about this recently. Who uh, you and fucking me Mark Marin, your buddy now? My good buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mark Marin. That that podcast was a moment in time. That that podcast. Don't yeah. even pay that any attention. So, I'm just breaking your balls. Um, so I'm sitting here looking at it right now. I know man. you're mesmerized by the blinking blue light that says 23. Don Mattingly, Don Mattingly, Don Mattingly, Don Mattingly. <laughs> what do you want to do? I want to. I'm just have to. Tough tough crowd was the closest I've ever come to like being completely. Uh, <laughs> I'm just picturing you in that when you were in that fucking singlet. You dressed. It's in somebody's avatar on one of the websites. I, you were dressed like a prostitute and like a. Oh, they all oh, the um. Uh, <laughs> I forget. See, but well, look, that is an example, dude. That was in the cut where I'm going in my in my mind. <laughs> I'm going. All right, I'm a big tranny. <laughs> That's what it was. And I was a tranny. I was a Dominican tranny. So awesome. you look good, mommy. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going. Well. Dominican, Dominican tranny, uh, that, that was it. Oh, Dominican tranny, uh, Jane Campion. Yeah, that's a ballsy move. That's but, but I'm saying she was, this, this woman is, um. My wife's saying Piano. you made a big. Yeah, right. This is my mentality. Yeah. My mentality to that is. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, fame. How, I was how, chasing something. Wait, how did Jane Campion become a Dominican tranny on Tough no, Crowd? no. Oh, I, right. Okay. What tough crowd. Listen, you guys, are you I went, about? I was, you, cause you was, you, yeah. you the one I was talking about in the cut. You brought that up. The right. avatar. Yeah, yeah. That's why I switched, I switched to the, to the, to the, the thing where my mentality, it goes into this fame chasing thing. Mm-hmm. This thing where you're chasing something. Do, do instinctively, do I want to play a, a big fat Dominican sissy with a fake accent that sounded terrible? <laughs> but I did it. For fame, because I thought it was just like saying, "Okay, play a retard." You, you're gonna play a retard. Okay, good. That's that means fame. Yeah. But this is your I am Sam. This is my. <laughs> I'm fucking, this I'm is tough, it, baby. On tough ground. Oh, so, but tough. somebody's gonna see me playing this, and they're gonna make me Forrest Whitaker in the crying thank, game too. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> Dope. Thank you. That's what I'm doing. So that doesn't make me happy. Shut <laughs> it. Hey, but that's what you do in Hollywood. I know. You I just do that. To blow a guy for a job. You gotta get one lazy eye. <laughs> you, you gotta. Yeah. You gotta get that Forrest Whitaker lazy eye. So tough crowd. When you ask me what I want to do, yeah, so, I have it. Uh. Uh-uh. I, and sometimes that dog it, shit, I, I'll get a receipt out of my pocket and pick, and it, up. pick it up. Exactly. Or sometimes I just kick it into the street like a little pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but when we were talking about people coming up to you in the street, mm-hmm. when you're a comic, they think they have license to break balls the way we break balls because they'll hear us on Opie and Anthony. It's a, it's a shortcut where I live. It's a shortcut <laughs> from the hood to the hood mall. So yeah. it's... It's a shortcut from Martin Luther King Boulevard to the Hudson Mall, and that's where all the foot traffic. So you got a whole place where people got Beamers, Benzes, guy has a Porsche, uh, Hummers, and on my windows and everything. I have a lock that you only can get out. You have to, you need a key to get out, and not you. You can't get and out. You have without a fucking a key. poodle. I have a little poodle and a little Westie. You would think in that neighborhood you'd just go Rottweiler, get it done. Well, that the whole it was. Uh, I don't like big dogs. I'm not picking up big dog shit. That shit That's is right. horrid. When you I put know. the plastic gloves on, to... promise. But aren't you gonna be pissed off when Phase Three goes up and you see how nice it is? Phase Three is not gonna ever happen. It is. I live in Phase One, and the rest is 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 surrounded by uh, dilapidated. Yeah, it gets rough buildings. quick. Yeah. Bad, a bad trucking company, uh, and it's the foot traffic from the hood, and that's the foot traffic from Martin Luther King Boulevard to the Hudson Mall. So that's where I live. They were, it was supposed to be a gated community, but then the, the whole. So no wonder you wake up angry. It, it, you get mad. Do you look at the painting? Do you have the painting from they saw I wish I had the painting. The whole, the whole, I wish I did. I wish that I had the promise, but I got bars and everything on my walls, man. 